Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on digital image processing. I am Dr. Alpesh Dafda and in this 67th video class of DIP, we will study signatures in image representation for digital image processing and its implementation in MATLAB. So in the very first video class of DIP, namely what is digital image processing, I told you that everything is there in the name. So let us understand the name first. Why this image representation technique is called signature? Because it looks like a signature. For example, this is some signature, right? So signature is called signature in image representation because it is a unique and distinct way of describing the shape of an object boundary. Just like a person's signature, which is handwritten representation of their name, a signature in image representation is a numerical representation of the object's contour or boundary. A signature can be used to identify, compare or classify objects based on their shape features, okay? So let us start. As we discussed in the previous video class also, we are currently learning image representation and description out of these main steps of digital image processing. And in the previous video classes, we have already learned chain codes and polygonal approximation. In this video class, we will be learning signature, which is the sequence of normal contour sequences. It is a one dimensional functional representation of a boundary. Signature is a sequence of normal contour sequences. It is a one dimensional functional representation of a two dimensional boundary. Why we convert the two dimensional boundary into one dimensional boundary so that it is simpler for computation, right? It is a unique representation for different shapes and it can be used to differentiate between different objects. See, every signature will be unique for every different shape. And no matter how a signature is made, the main concept is to turn the 2D boundary into a simpler 1D function that is easier to explain than the original 2D shape. The simplest signature is a plot of distance from the centroid to the boundary as a function of angle R of theta. Let us understand the signature for this circle and this square. For circle, this point C is the centroid and the phasor R which is also the radius completes 360 degree moving around the boundary and will give us one dimensional representation of R of theta which obviously will be constant why because the radius is constant right so here we plot the signature of angle versus distance that is nothing but our r of theta or radius a see here the radius is a right so when the angle is 0 degree the output is a when it is pi by 4 which is 45 degree again the radius is constant so output is again a for pi by 2 which is 90 degree again the output is constant that is a and similarly, we obtain a straight line as a signature for the circle. Now, let us consider this square. Say this distance is A. So, initially at 0 degree, the distance from the centroid to the boundary will be equal to A, which we plot over here. Next, say we consider the angle pi by 4, that is 45 degree. So, this will be 45 degree. So, as we can see, this is the longest distance, right? It will gradually increase from 0 degree to 45 degree. So, here 0 degree is A and 45 degree, it is gradually increasing up to root 2 of A. Then again, going from 45 degree to 90 degree, that is pi by 2, it again becomes A. So, it again decreases to A for pi by 2. For 3 pi by 4, it again increases to root 2 of A. So, here the distance is given by R of theta is equal to a sec theta. Why? Because we know the formula from our school which is some people have curly black hair through proper brushing. Sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. So, cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse which is equal to base is our A upon hypotenuse is our R of theta. So, if we bring R of theta towards this side, R of theta is equal to A upon cos theta and we know that 1 upon cos theta is sec theta, right? So, R of theta is equal to A sec theta. So, if we keep the value pi by 4 in place of theta, R of theta is equal to A sec pi by 4. So, cos pi by 4 is 1 upon root 2. So, sec pi by 4 is equal to root 2. R of theta is equal to root 2 of A for pi by 4. So, maximum value that will be obtained will be root 2 of A and then it will gradually decrease then again gradually increase. Signature is a translation invariant representation which allows an object to be compared with a standard prototype by cyclically shifting the signature of one with respect to other in steps while checking for the best match. The signatures are invariant to translation but the signatures do depend on rotation and scaling. And to make it invariant to rotation we should select the same starting point regardless of the 
orientation so one way is to select the starting point farthest from the centroid if it is unique and another way is to obtain the chain code of the boundary which we have already learned and to make it invariant to scaling we can normalize it to a particular range these are two binary regions and these are their boundaries and uh, corresponding to this boundary this is the r theta signature and corresponding to this boundary this is the r theta signature and we can see that these signatures are unique but these are some complex objects for uh, matlab implementation rather let us implement the signature for the circle n square in matlab this program shows signature for a binary circle n square let us run the program and see the output so here for this circle the signature is coming like this and actually it is a straight line only but the variations in between 0 to 0.5 are plotted over here because the image is a binary image so there will be small variations which are plotted here and for the square the signature comes out to be like this so that is all for this video class you can find the link for downloading the PPTs or lecture notes in the description box and also the MATLAB code is given in the description box. Thank you very much.